Hello students, uh, welcome to Show Up Sir Classes. So in this particular uh, video, uh, in this lecture we will see this um, solution of the ISI admission test for the MTech programs of 2022 paper. So what is the question number 10? It is saying that what is the sum of the maximum and the minimum values of this function. So let us take this f of x is 1 by nothing but 1 plus 2 cos x minus 4 sin x whole square. So let us take an option gx so which is 2 of cos x minus 4 sin x whole square. So now fx will be maximum right when gx will be minimum this is the first condition and another one is the vice versa that is fx will be minimum when gx is maximum so let us start with this finding the value of g x and then we will calculate the fx so if we do the derivative so here is gx is given already So gx is given. Now if we do the derivative, the first derivative of gx, so g prime x, it will be simply 2, 2 cos x minus 4 sin x minus of 2 sin x minus 4 cos x, right? So here you can do this simply, uh, take out 2 so we can this 2 to 8 it will be minus of 8 then cos x minus 2 sin x okay then it will be sin x plus 2 cos x right so if we put that g of prime x that is g prime x is equal to 0 then we will have these two equations. So first one on this side is the cos of x is equal to 2 of sin x. Okay, or we can write it cos of x by 2 is equal to sin of x by 1. Let us say take some constant this k. So from here we can find this sin of x is equal to minus 2 cos x so here you can get this sin x is equal to plus minus so before that uh, yes before to putting the value of here okay. so let us find so you can take this value the sin of x is equal to minus of 2 cos x so if we do this you can write this that we know that this cos square x plus sin square x equal to 1, right. So if we put this value as 4k square plus k square equal to 1, that is we have this k square equal to 1 by 5 or k is equal to plus minus 1 by root 5, simple. So from here we can find this value of the cos x and the sin x. So, sin x is equal to plus minus minus of 2 by root 5 and cos x it will be simply plus minus 1 by root 5. This one and from here we can get that cos x will be plus minus 2 by root 5 and sin x will be simply plus minus 1 by root 5. right so we will first take this only so this is for you can put it in the bracket so this one value of sin x and cos x and we have this cos x and sin x value 
so now if we put this in this manner so if we take this value of cos x okay so write in this manner this cos x comma sin x it is simply plus minus 2 by root 5 minus plus minus 1 by root 5 right so what will be the value of gx here so gx is so we will take the plus minus value out of this so plus minus 2 into 2 by root 5 minus 4 by root 5 this upon this whole square which is equal to 0 so here you can see that g is minimum here now similarly if we take the value of cos x minus sin x as plus minus 1 by root 5 this one okay. and plus minus minus 2 by root 5 okay. so what will be the value of gx so gx will be equal to so we can put the plus minus outside so 2 into 1 by root 5 plus 4 into 2 by root 5 this whole square equation. So it will be given as 100 by 5 that is here you can say G is max. So we have to find the addition of the maximum and the minimum value of f. So from here we can calculate this f of minimum. So f of minimum will be 1 by 1 plus 0 that is 1 oh it will be the sorry it will be the exactly opposite so we have to do so that is f of maximum and f of minimum because when g is maximum f is minimum so it will be 1 plus 100 by 5 that is it is uh, coming as 2021 20, so 1 by 20 so here we have to find the summation so f of minimum plus f of maximum it is nothing but 1 by 21 plus 1 so it is coming out as 22 by 21 so that will be the summation so that will be the final result 22 by 20, 21 so sum of this for question number 10 our correct option is option b that is 22 by 21